Welcome to another ASVAB math video, my party people. I'm Coach Anderson, always happy to help you out and helping you succeed. So let's go ahead and take a look at a problem like this where, kind of like where I posted yesterday, we talked about the law of exponents. And so this is the second part to yesterday's class. So if you're watching this video the day it came out, yesterday we did a class on the law of exponents part one, tonight we're doing part two. So if you don't wanna miss out, this class is actually part of my full program that I offer everybody who wants to succeed with the ASVAB who's having a little bit of trouble or is having a little bit of trouble making ends meet with money. My program is the most affordable that you'll ever find and you get all the support that you get anywhere else and then some. So we're talking about things like having all of my classes and every single recording that I've ever done. If you ask how many that is at this point in my career, that's about 320 something recordings at this point. More to come. On top of that, you're gonna get thousands of practice questions with over 800 video solutions for the math, extra help for paragraph comprehension, word knowledge, and general science. And then on top of that, you get to text me when you, whenever you need help. So it's a full service program. I'm here to help you succeed. And if you go ahead and go to the link right down there, or go ahead and use the link in the description of this video, you'll go ahead and check out how it all works. There's a nice video explaining everything, and you'll see the price that I think that you can't beat anywhere else. So with that said, go ahead, go to that link, check it out, so that way you understand what your options are when it comes to passing the ASVAB. And if you have any questions at all, there's my number, 567-698-8867. Please feel free to reach out to me. Me or my assistants will be here to help you out because we wanna make sure that you're taken care of start to finish. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crush this thing right here, my party people, let's go. So we have six X to the power of five, multiplied by three X to the power of negative two, times two X to the power of two. Okay, so here's how we're gonna handle this. This is how the law of exponents works. Whenever you're multiplying variables, what you're gonna do is if those variables are the same, you'll go ahead and add those exponents. And then the regular numbers out in front, these regular numbers right here, you'll just go ahead and multiply them. You'll just go ahead and multiply them as normal. So here we're gonna have six times three times two. And so three times two, well, that's gonna go ahead and be six. And then six times six, that's gonna be 36. Sounds good, that's the easy part. But it's really dealing with those variables that a lot of us have trouble with. So checking things out here, how do we handle that? Well, what's gonna happen here is this. We have x to the power of five, x to the power of negative two, and x to the power of two. So this is called the product of powers law. Product meaning multiplication. So when you are multiplying powers, this is what you do. You're gonna go ahead and keep that same variable, but you'll go ahead and add those exponents. Why is that the case? Remember, the reason is this. If you have, let's say, x squared times x to the power of three, well, x squared turns into x times x. x cubed is the same as x times itself three times. So how many times do you see x being multiplied? Five times. And look at that, two plus three, is five. Now, just because you have a negative here doesn't mean that anything changes. Nothing really changes. You're just gonna subtract that exponent instead of adding it, and that's it. So what we have here, my party people, is this. We're gonna have five minus two plus two. And once we have it like that, my party people, ooh, buddy, we are good. Because once you notice that, hey, uh, minus two and plus two cancels out, you're left with just x to the power of five. So we have 36 X to the power of five, and that will be our answer. And so don't let this stop here, my poor people. This is just one example of potentially thousands of this type that you could see. And I don't want you to start here by just trying to memorize how to do this one question and then not really knowing the reasons why, because if I just change the numbers up a little bit or change the way it looks, then you're going to be stuck. And I don't want that. What I really truly want from you and for you is for you to be able to understand this without having the hesitations or the anxieties creep in. I want you to understand this the right way and that's why I really truly believe you should join my program. If you wanna learn more about it again, my number is 567, right over here. 567-698-8867. Seriously, shoot me a text, ask me more about the program, tell me about your story and what's going on. That way we can see if it's a good fit for you and we can help you make a plan to get started the right way. So. With that said, my party people, again, I am Coach Anderson. I'm happy and always happy to help you succeed with the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and crush this thing, get the score you want and that job you deserve, and then move forward with our careers the right way. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.